listen to me, Miss Electric Company lady. Okay, first, first I get a white bill that calls me dear valued customer. Okay, fine. Then, then I get a pink bill addressed to forgetful consumer. Okay. <laughs> then, then I get a red bill that opens you lying little bitch. What is that? <laughs> This I'll hold. Dealing with the heartless bureaucracy? You know, I don't know what hurts more. The fact that they cut off my power because I underpaid them a dollar fifteen. <laughs> or that I have to listen to this Muzak version of Purple Haze. I'm Daniel Hamrick. I'm just waiting for an interview with Camilla Dane. Oh, hey, Nora Wilde, staff photographer. Really? Are any of these yours? Yeah. Um, that one, the one below it, and uh, this one on the next page. Wait, wait, wait. You actually got in the delivery room with Roseanne? Yeah. It's kind of a personal coup for me. Out of all the paparazzi, I got the only shot of the placenta. <laughs> wow. It's a beauty. Yeah, well, if you want to see the real thing, they've got it on display down at Planet Hollywood. <laughs> Laura Wilde, are you free for lunch? Okay, wait a second. You looked at Roseanne's placenta and you thought about lunch? <laughs> You're a sick man, and I like that in a guy. Lunch would be great. <laughs> Daniel Hamrick? Yes. Hi. Camilla Dane, editor of The Comet. Hi. Listen, I, I'm just dying to hear about your travels, but we've got a developing story down at the hospital. I'm afraid it's going to keep me tied up for a while. I understand. I understand. You just call me when you want to reschedule. Great. Hey, can I use your phone? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah! There you go. <laughs> Nora, I'm going to need you on this one. Anna Nicole Smith has had a skiing accident. Ooh, broken leg? No, frozen implant. <laughs> she fell forward in the snow. The left one just froze up solid. <laughs> they say now it's moving south like a glacier. <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a freak show around here. <laughs> I bet. So um, you've been traveling? Yeah, I've been out of the country for about five years. Oh, no kidding. You know, when I was in college, I did a, a semester at the Sorbonne. Where were you? On Zarkon B. Excuse me? It's in the Andromeda Galaxy. You mean, like, up there? Actually, it's kind of over there. But I have friends up there. What are you saying? I was abducted by aliens. Um. See you at one. So, I guess one week anniversary is Pearl's, two week anniversary is... <laughs> Isn't he funny? Yeah, he's funny. Mm. I gotta go change. I'll see you tonight. Right, right. Okay. Nice to meet you, Chloe. Oh, nice to meet you, Daniel. Well, thanks for helping out. You're a terrific, terrific guy. For a Klingon. <laughs> Would you stop it? Daniel is not from Klingon, okay? Klingon is a fictional, made-up planet. Daniel is from Zarkon B. <laughs> anyway, you are not one to judge, you know. I didn't say anything when you were going out with that guy from uh, the valley. Okay, yes, he was from the valley. And yes, we had some cultural differences, but we did share a solar system. <laughs> oh, come on, Nora, you don't really believe this guy's story, do you? He's a nut. See, that's the problem with you. You don't believe in people. You know, there's a lot in this world that we don't know about, Chloe. And just because something can't be proven doesn't mean that it isn't real. Wow, this guy must be great in bed. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know yet. The last five years up there have made Daniel a little gun shy. See, it seems that if you don't sexually satisfy the women of Zarkon B, they bite off one of your fingers. <laughs> How? How many fingers does he have left? Ten. <laughs> We 
got to be breaking some serious rules. I'm thinking mortal sin. Oh, nonsense, Molly. You look adorable. Really, you can wear anything. Uh, can't go wrong with black. <laughs> OK, let's prowl around. Keep your eyes peeled for Drew. Why do you suppose Drew Barrymore would join a convent? Well, I imagine, because this close to Oscar time, Betty Ford is book solid. <laughs> You know, I, I can actually see the appeal for this place. I mean, it's so peaceful. Mm. It is lovely, isn't it? You know... <laughs> Nora, this may come as a surprise to you, but I was quite the little Catholic in my day. In fact, <laughs> when I was a young woman, I thought I even heard the calling. What happened? Little thing came out called the pill. <laughs> Somebody's coming. What? Jeez. Hi. Oh. <laughs> yes, my child? Uh... <laughs> Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. When was your last confession? What is this, the Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> I'm sorry. Please don't let me interrupt your prayer, sister. Well, you did. You did, and now I can't get back into it. Nice job. Hold on a second. Nora Wilde? Man, you guys are scary. <laughs> Nora, is that you? Luscious? Yeah! Luscious O'Farrell? Oh, my God! I haven't seen you since our last Kappa Delta Delta keg party. <laughs> Dressed as a nun. I'm a nun. <laughs> and I'm the Pope. <laughs> oh my God, you're not kidding, are you? No. Haha. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. How did the wildest woman at Sarah Lawrence end up a nun? I don't know. People change. I guess I woke up one day and found that being a drunken slut was strangely unfulfilling. <laughs> You? What are you doing here? Did you become... No, 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 no. I sort of went the drunken slut route. <laughs> well, you know, not, not really. Actually, um, I'm a reporter. I'm kind of looking into this rumor that Drew Barrymore was uh, enlisting. No, she was here, but she was just doing research for her next movie, Sound of Music 2, Maria Strikes Back. <laughs> So, oh my God, look at you, Sister Luscious. <laughs> Actually, they call me Sister Catherine now. Right, right, Sister Luscious would be like the patron saint of porno actresses. <laughs> so, listen, you know, I, I, I'd love to get together sometime for lunch, you know, if that's something that's, you know, allowed. Let's see, vow of chastity, vow of poverty. No, no vow against lunch. <laughs> sure, that'd be great. Cool. Stop, stop, no more, no more. Wait, please, please. I'm telling you, this is really, really helping. I feel like an enormous weight has just been lifted. Get thee back, Satan. Oh. <laughs> You're like the, the tenth animal shelter I've called, okay? Now, look, his name is George. George. Yeah, and, and, and he was carrying this, this little rubber veal chop that really tastes like veal, and I just know it does, okay? <laughs> look, look, he knows his name, okay? If you call out George, then he'll, um, he'll s smile, okay? No, yeah, do it. No, do it. Dude, come on. No, don't tell me to calm down, lady, all right? My dog is missing, and I'm not gonna take any... Hello? Hello? I 
think that girl likes me. She keeps looking over here. That's because you keep yelling, hey, you, look over here. <laughs> Just sit down, gentlemen, and watch the master. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Can I buy you a drink? Sure, a uh, screwdriver. Floyd, two drivers. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, it is. Mm. You Catholic? <laughs> very. <laughs> very, 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 very. Yeah. Well, uh, I used to be an altar boy. Uh. I've strayed a little. You know. <laughs> so, uh, what's your name, sister? Uh, correct. <laughs> what? Sister. Sister Catherine Mary. <clears throat> sister. Yeah, that's right, stud. She's a nun. <laughs> <laughs> a nun? I'm hitting on a nun. A nun. Yeah, but it was a nice change of pace for me. <laughs> Buzz off, Nikki. I'm going to hell. <laughs> I'm going to hell. I am sorry that I'm so late. I've just been... Are you okay? I lost George. Who's George? My dog. He's missing. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I help? Well, thanks, but I think I'm doing everything I can. You know, you'd be surprised how few people did want to help. I mean, here I am, running through the park, tears streaming down my face, and nobody wants to get involved. It was just really one of those moments where you, you feel disconnected from the human race. Have you prayed? Oh, uh, well, you know, <laughs> that, that's really more your area of expertise. Well, you don't have to be an expert, but I'll pray for you. Thanks. You know, you've changed, Katie. You've got this whole serene thing going for you now. Like a, a sense of calm, of inner peace. Thank you. Hey, pal, we're gonna get that drink sometime today? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my name is Stan. You have Mr. Veilchop? Yeah. So you found my dog, George? Well, he's uh, downstairs in the car. Oh, thank you so much. I am telling you, just as my faith in mankind was slipping away, along comes a guy like you and does a thing like this. I, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. So let's go get him. Let's go get him. Uh, excuse me. I think we have some business to discuss first. Business? Uh, yeah. Before I give them to you, I did incur some expenses. Oh, well, I mean, of course, you know, food, doggy treats. Um, how much do I owe you? Three hundred and fifty dollars. Oh. Hey, man, you you had them for a day. What'd you do? Put them up at the Hilton? <laughs> hey, I I remember you f from the dog park. Really, small world. You didn't find my dog, you stole him. How could you kidnap somebody's dog? I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> Look, you want him or not? Of course I want him. <laughs> Just can't believe there's unbelievable scum like you in this planet. Is there anything that you wouldn't do for money? Yeah, cigarette commercials. I just think they're wrong. <laughs> Pack of matches, three bucks. I'm telling you, life stinks. The world stinks. The people stink. And you stink. Oh, I believe I may be the world's biggest idiot. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I think you'll have to fight me for that crown, Nora. <laughs> Nobody gives a, gives a damn about anybody anymore, you know? It's like everybody just looks at you like you're another sucker coming down the pike. I get that all the time. What is a pike? Look it up, Dave. I mean... 
How can Sister Catherine be so happy, you know? Doesn't she know that everybody stinks? Well, maybe she's so happy because she has God in her life. Well, yeah, Dave, that's obvious. Well, maybe if you ask God, he could make you happy, too. I don't know, Dave, that whole God thing, I don't know if that's me. I mean, I haven't, I haven't prayed since grade school, you know? I feel a little silly. <laughs> okay. But that seems kind of strange, you know, that you would have a boyfriend and he would say he's from another planet and you'd believe him. <laughs> but believing that there's a higher power that loves us all and watches over us, you'd feel silly believing that? <laughs> When did you become too cool for God? Do you know what dog spelled backwards is? God. Really? <laughs> oh, what you give boy? I am so happy to have him back. Yeah, I can tell by the way you gave him all my egg rolls. <laughs> you know, a friend of mine prayed for him to come back, and he came back. I, I think that is so cool. Daniel, do you believe in God? I'm married. Because I've been thinking a lot about my place in the world and what I mean in the bigger scope of things and how I've lost faith in the common... I'm sorry, you're what? <laughs> I'm married. What does that mean? Well, it means I have a wife. <gasps> Where? On Sarkhan B. <laughs> I can't. How could you do this? Well, it's not like she's going to catch me. Because <laughs> she lives, you know, like 7,000 light years away. Oh, my God. I mean, even if anybody saw us and called her on the phone, I mean, by the time her phone rang, you'd be like a million years old. <laughs> telling me this all of a sudden. Nora, I just... I believe that honesty and trust are the foundation for any good relationship. There, now that it's out, I feel a lot better. And I just know we're gonna move past this. Oh, guess again, space boy. <laughs> Honey, it's okay. Me and Screeblock have an understanding. Screeblock? Screeblock? Oh, I don't believe you, Daniel. I stood up for you. I stood up for you when all of my friends said that you were nuts. And guess what? You're nuts! <laughs> you know what? Just leave, okay? Use the door, the tractor beam, the time warp next to the elevator, whatever. Just leave, okay? Nora? Live long and prosper. <laughs> Daniel, eat crap and die. <laughs> You want to be a nun? Well, I don't know. Maybe. It looks like fun. <laughs> well, sure. But you're just seeing the glamour. I don't know, Katie. I don't know what I want. All I know is I don't want what I have. You know, I don't want to feel so empty and disconnected, tired, poor of spirit, disgusted with my fellow man, you know? I want what you got. This bitchin' hat? <laughs> Maybe. Do you know how much of my day is wasted with hair care? <laughs> Nora, I don't know that you're cut out to be a nun. Well, I, I could be. You know, I think I'm a good candidate. I have no money. I have no kids. I'm not getting any sex. Heck, I'm darn near a nun now. <laughs> Sorry. I know, I know. But I just, I look at you and what you have, you know, a faith, a serenity. Tonight, a friend of mine asked me, when did I become too cool for God? I think that was a very good question. So you want to be part of my world? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Nora, it's the same world. The difference is I've accepted God's help to guide me through it. Okay, well, I want that too. Well, that's good. Your spirit's thirsty, kiddo. And you come to me and you want to drink the whole ocean. Maybe what you need is just to start with the first glass. 
I've got to go to Vespers. I'll be back in an hour. Stay and wait, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, well, what, do, what do I do for an hour? I don't know. I'm sure you'll think of something. Hello, God. <laughs> it's me, Nora. Long time no see. sessions have been to think that for the past 20 years I've been paying Dr. Schnabel $150 an hour for this. <sighs> if you could just smoke in here, it would be perfect. <laughs> okay, um, next Wednesday, 3 o'clock, we'll pick up with the Kennedy brothers. That's it. <laughs> I quit. 